let us see the relationship between the DFT and the Z transform. The Z transform of a sequence X of n is given by the equation of X of Z is equal to summation from n is equal to minus infinity up to infinity of X of n into Z raised to minus 1. But for the finite duration sequence of the length n, the Z transform is given by x of z is equal to summation from n is equal to 0 up to n minus 1 x of n into z raised to minus n. Here we also know the IDFT x of n which is given by x of n is equal to 1 upon n summation from k is equal to 0 up to n minus 1 x of k e raised to minus j 2 pi n k divided by n. So now to get the relationship between the DFT and the z transform here we have to substitute the value of x of n from this step. So just see what happens when we substitute this value. Here we are having the standard formula for the z transform and we are substituting the value of x of n in this equation. In next step we are just rearranging the summations over here and after solving that we are getting one standard solution for this particular step over here. And lastly, we are getting the relationship between the Z transform and the DFT of a sequence.